For years my compost heaps have been the heart of my garden, quietly working away in the background. They slowly turn kitchen and garden waste into rich, dark soil that nourishes everything I grow. Recently, I've discovered a faster, less fussy way, fermenting kitchen scraps right at home. Think of it as pickling your waste like making kimchi or sauerkraut, but for your garden's benefit. Instead of letting scraps rot in a heap, you seal them in a bucket with a special brand, letting beneficial microbes transform them into something valuable. This method is quick, space-saving, and locks in nutrients that traditional composting can sometimes lose to the air. There's no turning, no pest problems, and you can even add things like meat, cheese, and dairy, items you'd never put in a regular compost heap. It's clean, simple, and fits any lifestyle, whether you have a big garden or just a few balcony pots. I still love my compost heaps, but fermentation is a powerful new tool in my gardening toolkit. It's a secret weapon creating potent soil conditioner in just weeks, not months, and with less effort. By shifting from slow decay to rapid preservation, you deliver more goodness straight to your plant's roots, right where it's needed most. The results are healthier soil, stronger plants, and a more efficient way to recycle every bit of your kitchen waste. Let's take a closer look at how this process works, and how you can start today. What's happening inside that sealed bucket? Let's take a closer look at the science behind it. It's all about microbes, yeasts, fungi, and lactic acid bacteria working together in an oxygen-free environment to break down your food scraps. This process, called Bokashi fermentation, transforms your scraps instead of letting them simply rot away. The microbes pickle the waste, locking in nutrients and preventing foul smells from escaping into your kitchen. Unlike traditional composting, almost no nutrients are lost. Everything stays right there in the bucket. When you add the fermented material to your garden you're giving your soil a concentrated nutrient-rich boost. Plus, you get a bonus. Bokashi tea. A powerful liquid fertilizer you can drain off and use on your plants. Just dilute it with water and you've got a free, microbe-rich plant food for your garden beds or pots. Fermentation is quick, clean, and delivers even more nutrition to your garden than you might expect. It's a smarter, more efficient way to recycle kitchen waste at home. Next, let's see what happens underground, where the real magic begins. When you bury fermented scraps, the real magic begins. The material is pre-digested and packed with beneficial microbes, so soil life, worms, fungi, bacteria, goes into overdrive. It breaks down fast, feeding your plants and building a healthier soil ecosystem. The influx of good microbes helps suppress disease and creates a resilient environment for roots. Earthworms aerate the soil, improving structure and water management. Over time, you're not just feeding plants, you're building richer, more fertile soil for years to come. Fermentation is like giving your soil a meal plus a probiotic. The result, stronger roots, healthier plants, and a thriving garden. Starting with fermentation is easy and surprisingly fun. All you need is a bokashi bin, a plastic bucket with a tight lid and a tap, and some inoculated bran to get started. Add a layer of kitchen scraps, sprinkle with bran, press it down firmly, and seal the lid tightly. Repeat this process daily until the bucket is completely full. There's no bad smell, just a mild pickled aroma that's actually pleasant. Drain the liquid fertilizer known as Bokashi tea every few days. Once full, seal the bucket and let it sit for two more weeks. That's it. No turning, no mess, and no hassle. After two weeks, your scraps are pickled and ready for the garden bed. Fermentation is a simple cycle. Fill, seal, and wait for results. It fits any home, big or small, making it accessible for everyone. Now, let's bring that goodness and nutrition to your soil. After two weeks, your fermented scraps are ready for the garden. Dig a trench 20-30 centimeter deep, empty the bucket, mix with soil, and cover. Let the patch rest for two weeks before planting. This neutralizes acidity and lets microbes finish the job. No garden beds. Use a soil factory. A big container with soil and scraps mixed together. Even in pots, bury a small amount deep, cover with compost, and plant on top. Always keep fresh fermented matter away from roots for the first couple of weeks. This simple step ensures your plants get all the benefits safely. Fermentation transforms kitchen waste into vibrant, productive soil fast.